Are they fighting? Yeah. Cool. Wait. Look. Hola, guys. Ooh, right on the tip. What? Should I go cover it up? Look. Not that big a difference, but you know what? It's Saturday. <laughs> a different spot. Yes. Hey. In a different spot. I feel kind of. Hey, can I show them? Yes. This guy. Scoot it back. We're in a dark spot. Where is that from? Aliens. An exclusive Walmart. <laughs> an exclusive Walmart toy. Mm -hmm. According to the packaging on the box, Walmart's putting these out for the aliens collection. Maybe they're bringing stuff back. Scoot it back a little. I don't know, but we found that after we went to the movies or before the movies. I don't know, guys. I'm feeling a something, a something kind of way, a certain kind of way. I'm feeling good, not tipsy. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very, very relaxed. Uh, maybe it was that. Was it a coyote mood, a wolf mood, coyote moon, or a wolf moon, or some kind of canine? moon it was gorgeous it popped out around six something here it was huge and red and at first i was like super spooked because i was like what is this is like the beginning of armageddon it was it was beautiful but spooky uh and then it kind of just you know got really really big and bright and then it just went super super high and just lit up the sky it was really really bright but when it first popped out i thought it was gorgeous and i didn't know anything about it um I hadn't heard anything about this gorgeous moon because all I'd been paying attention was about the crazy weather we were having here uh, in Dallas. We had 70 degrees yesterday and then it dropped to 30 and then some folks got snow. I had one icicle. That's all I had here in my little town. But um, I'm feeling some kind of way and people were saying that the coyote moon, I think it's a coyote moon, had made strange things happen. It changed my outlook. I mean, I've been in a pretty good mood lately, but I feel very, very relaxed. My friends came over and we watched uh, Spider-Man Far From Home on the projector. We used the projector and we made chili dogs. Just very, very simple, but it was a nice time. It's a uh, little dude's best friend and my very, very close friend and her hubby. And we just kind of hung out for a few hours and I'm very, very relaxed. Very zen. A uh, little dude and I went to the movies earlier. We watched... The Grudge, the second one, because I am a huge fan of the Grudge movies. And it was, to some, not appropriate for a 10-year-old. But for me, who monitors the types of scary movies he watches, I thought it was very, very appropriate. I personally think that the, not the original Japanese one, but the, the one with Sarah Michelle Gellar, I personally thought that had way more scary factor to it uh, than this one. But this one was really good. It did make you jump a lot. Uh, but I prefer the one with Sarah Michelle Geller in it. But anywho, uh, went to Ross afterwards um, just because. And I found um, a couple little things there that I wanted to show you. I had no intention of buying anything, but I found uh, one thing on sale. Let me just show you guys because I'm actually going to put it right here. That's why I'm standing here because I was trying to move these three uh, little box mirrors that Big Dude had in his room and I wanted to use them and because I do have black touches it was working for a little bit but I don't really like them so I'm going to move them and use this. Hang on. Okay you guys are going to see ourselves perched on this unfinished cabinet one day. One day I'm going to finish it but I don't want to blind y'all because I don't know where the light is reflecting but I got this beveled beveled is this a beveled mirror hello well y'all can see i don't want to blind y'all because i have a lamp right here but y'all see how it does that i want to show y'all the true size of it okay, let me flip it so i don't blind y'all and y'all can see the true size of it it's this size and it's exactly style wise like the one that i have in my bathroom mounted on my big mirror um and i love mirrors i love I love mirrors. And this one was $13.99. I don't want to blind you. Y'all see that? It was originally $19.99 and they marked it down to $13.99. So I got that for the room. And then it sat on the little table 
that I currently have lots of little mishmashy knickknackery on, and that's driving me crazy. Um, I bought this planter because I need some greenery in here. Not pretty. Y'all hear my floor? That happens to a house built in 1983. But anywho, I thought this was pretty and this was $4.99. So I want, like you guys have heard me say before, I have stuff. Y'all can see I have stuff. <laughs> My big dude's skateboard stickers. Um, I have stuff. I have a lot of stuff, but I want big-ish stuff because the little stuff tends to like make me go a little teeth grindy. So I'm going to put this on the little table. And I'll probably show you guys a little table I'm talking about right here. A table that I brought in from the garage because it has silver paint on it. And I thought it worked in here. But it really is just an extra piece of furniture that I probably more than likely am going to take out because it's too much. I just like it for right now, but I might take it out because it may be too much. But I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm going to do the mirror here and this here with a plant. I'm going to Home Depot and see if they have any like ivies and stuff because Walmart doesn't have any anymore. So I just want a nice little greenery, something that the cats won't eat. Um, so we'll see. But that was the idea behind that. And then I think Little Dude actually forgot about this. Uh, but he found some compies, Imaginex little compies. Uh, and those were at $2.99. So he may have forgotten about them because he did get those dinosaurs. Uh, and I went to the 99 cent only the other day. So let me show you what I picked up there. I swear I'm going to fall through this floor. That started when my son, uh, my big dude, used to lift weights. And he'd be doing reps and reps and reps. And his arms would start to get really, really tired. So he would drop the weights. And that started soon after. But anywho, I found this really neat thing at the 99 cent only. I knew it was only 99 cents. It's Kitchen Life Essentials Magnetic Heat Bag Resealer. And I'm always losing the little pincher things for my potato chips and stuff like that. So I thought this might be cool. You put in two AA batteries or one AA battery. I don't remember. You put in AA batteries. You press a little button to heat it up. And then you kind of run it across the top of your bags and it'll seal it. I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. I saw this hack where you heat up a knife on the stove um, and cut down the length of um, plastic zipper bags and you end up having seal bags that way, but I ain't trying to burn up my knives. But did I need it? Not really, but if it works, it will come in handy because I'm always losing my chip clips. Always, always, always. Uh, I found Hail Caesar, a comedic tour de force with Josh Brolin, George Clooney, Ralph Fiennes, Jonah Hill, Scarlett Johansson, Frances McDormand, Tilda Swinton, Channing Tatum. Um, this is one of the ones that I didn't have of um, Channing Tatum, just because I didn't want to pay full price and it was never on sale, but it is a comedy slash musical. And I am super excited that I found this sucker for 99 cents. Usually at 99 cents, only their movies are $1.99 but not this go around. I picked up some more clear push pins for the sheets that I'm using as a projector. I'm using white little push pins, the little ones, and uh, I keep moving it around so much that they kind of fall out and we've been lucky that we haven't stepped on one, but I think these are a little longer in the point and may offer a little more stability to it, but it's working out really good so far, guys, as a screen. I wish it wasn't so, I wish it was nice and taut uh, like a regular screen would be, but it's working. Uh, I picked up another one of these sink brush with handles because mine had black stuff all up in it and it didn't matter how many times I tried to bleach it, it wasn't coming clean anymore. So I threw it away because I didn't want to fungus up anyone in my house. And then I found these for 99 cents only, which are perfect for my little um, toaster oven. Perfect for two servings now that it's just me and my little dude back again perfect for two servings of any type of little casserole if it's perfect in my little um, toaster oven and I thought that was a really really good find the only other thing Okay, the only other thing that I want to show you is really more for uh, advice uh, one of the PAs at work threw this little bag away because it got this, 
this marking on the back. And I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I don't like it. I can't get the marks out. She hadn't tried. I said, I am queen of thrift. I have come across bags in worse shape and have had some luck with them. And if I can't get the, um, the ink out, who cares? It's going to be up against your body anyway. There is a little pen mark here, but whatever. I just thought it was cute. I don't even know if it's real. Um, anybody could have slapped an MK on here. There's no taggy on the inside. I don't care, really. Uh, I like the color. I like the style. This is a perfect flea market bag. Um, and she was going to toss it. So I said, just give it to me. You know, if you don't want it and you don't mind, go ahead and give it to me. So she gave it to me. But I'm going to ask you guys, because I have left a lot of them just smudgy like that because nobody's going to see the back. Do you guys have any recommendations on how I could possibly take this off? It's dye definitely, but it it's not ink. I thought maybe it was ink from the inside of a pin exploding or whatever. I'm not sure. Uh, to be honest, I haven't tried to clean it yet, but any hints, any ideas of what I could do? Um, but that was it. Um, that's it. Let me show you the little table, the accoutrement, the little knickknackery, the little <laughs> getting on my nerves that I have on there. So hold on one second. So here are the mirrors that I currently have up. Um, ah, you get my top and my bottom. Um, I got the three mirrors. That's what I want to replace. And here is the little table. This was in the garage. Um, but it's silver. It's silver painted. I found this at a thrift store. I don't remember when. Currently in here, I honestly don't know what I have in here. Um, looks like, oh, earrings and these little things I picked up at the Dollar Tree for earrings. Y'all remember these big giant, um, necklaces that were all the rage a few years ago i got them on clearance at walmart oh don't smash my finger Let's see what else i got going on in here these are just all my these are all my sterling earrings my little fakey sleep aid but it really works i think i got that at i don't know where walmart somewhere these are my one of my uh wax burner candles this little kabuki brush little massage thing uh, night light bulbs random bracelets I have in here what the heck is this oh that's a little stand for that this one is full of sunglasses sunglasses big and wide enough to cover my regular glasses because I can't see more than 12 inches in front of me without them and I don't have any prescription sunglasses what is in here? Oh, this is what Melinda bought me. Y'all met Melinda on one of my two, one or two of my videos. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty. I have it in here to keep it from getting tarnished and ooky. That was a birthday gift. And then here are just some random bracelets that I can't get rid of. I can't bring myself to get rid of them. I think... A lot of them are still pretty, but I'm not a big bracelet gal because it drives me crazy banging on things. There is my favorite seashell, two of my little um, notebook things, and that's my my movie list of all the movies we have. Um, I think it's pretty much updated. Oh, I totally bypassed the top of this table. Hang on. This is what's on top of this table. It's this cute little, it's supposed to be a jewelry box, but I don't think that's what it is. But it's this cute little container, which I currently have my little head buds, my little head buds, my earbuds and the little wire things and um, little cables and chargers. Kitty cat, what are you doing behind me? And these pretty little mercury glass bottles I found at either 99 cent only or Dollar Tree. Um, I thought were gorgeous and my plan was to put lotion in them and I never did. Um, and then I have, hello again, I have this little thingy that I hang all of my beautiful, shiny, blingy keychains on. Um, but see, it's a lot going on. So I want to take this off, put my big mirror here and put my silver pot here. I'm definitely going to keep this, probably not on this table, but move it. But I want the pot with a plant there. And I want to clean up some of this down here. I don't know. It, like I said, it's just another piece of furniture that I shoved in here uh, that more than likely is going to end up back in the garage because it's just, you know, it, it's not really enough room. What is this cat doing behind me? 
Oh, good gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Stop that. Oh, it's all up in our face. But anywho, that was it. Just a quick little run through of what we... You don't have anything else you want to show today? You already showed it? Okay, just a quick little run through of what we had going on today. And I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. And until our next go around, to love y'all bunches. Stop crossing your eyes. Good night. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> I am in my night clothes, ready to go to bed when I get the munchies. So I come down here to get some chips and thought, you know what? What a perfect time to try this thing. The little um, sealer. So, let's try it. It's cheaply made. The little plastic is coming off and... I hope I don't zap myself. I'm going to try this uh, bag sealer. So it does take two double A's. So let me load it and then we'll get to the nitty gritty. Hang on. Well, right away as I try and put in the battery. See how this one is up? This one went in no problem. Tried to put in that one. And it bent that little thing. So... Let's try this again, shall we? Okay, it's in. Hold on. Okay. So it's on. Uh, it says, before use, preheat and press for five seconds. Hold on, before I do that, let me go ahead and trim some of this away. Okay. Go ahead and thin that. It says press and hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I feel a little something. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if it works, guys. It did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's try it again. Maybe I need to go slower. So it's pressed. I'm pushing down the white button. Going slowly along. Super slow. Let me see if it's sealed. Nope. Didn't seal anything. No heat at all. So, what if I get shocked? What if I get zapped? Well, I'm glad it was only 99 cents because this sucker doesn't work. I feel no heat. I smell nothing coming off of it. Unless it broke when I tried to put the batteries in, but I thought I felt a little heat, but no, nope, not at all. Well, I'm glad it was only 99 cents. So for the record, if you see them at your 99 cent only, don't buy them. Don't do it. Well, let's blame user error. I take it back. I apparently had the batteries in wrong. Let's try this again. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I had one of the batteries in backwards. You guys, I see a mark. I see a mark. Y'all see the mark? Y'all can see the mark. chips now. I'm just going to seal the very, very little 
corner. Make sure everything's fresh. It worked, Peanut. What? The little sealer. I had the battery in wrong. Seal that. Look. What? Look. Say what? <laughs> I didn't get my chips, but you know what? I take it back. If you're at your 99 cent only. Is that magic? No, it's not magic. It's just really cool. If you're at your 99 cent only, I take everything I said back. Please purchase one of these if you are like me and lose all of your chip clips. That's really cool. Now, it's warm. It's not even warm. It's I guess it only generates heat when you press it. It has a little lock on here that says, oh, I see. Yeah, you flip it up. Unlock when you, in use, lock when not in use. So he won't tap and burn up nothing. Yay, it worked. Okay, that is really cool. That's really neat. Okay, now again, good night. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week. Yay.